when Master Evil comes to play. And Mama says that it's okay. Alex and Josh are stole away and made to watch these movies to stay alive until the day they made a Hello, viewers. Welcome to Slash... Wait a sec. Josh, what are you wearing? Did Master Evil make you wear that crap again? Um, Wasn't me. No, I just... You know, it's... I like the pink and the color. And it feels comfortable. It's Halloween! It's a costume. Halloween costume. Okay, okay yeah, we'll yeah. go with that. Yeah, All right. Costume. Anyway, hello, viewers. Welcome to Slash Tracks with Alex and Master Evil. Dude, that's oh, wait. No, 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 no. I, 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 bl I blacked out. I apologize. I, uh, welcome to Slash Tracks with Alex and Josh. Of course, what it's Josh. The, what the hell? What the hell, dude? Sorry, man. I've got a lot on my mind. And uh, this episode is... This, listen, listen. I almost blacked out again. This is episode 10. I'm so excited. Episode 10 of Slash Tracks, baby. Oh, yay. Prisoner. Indeed. And tonight I have a special kind of psychological torture in store for the two of you. <laughs> Honey, you better not be on that computer. You know you're still grounded. Wait, 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 what? Master Evil, you're, you're grounded? <laughs> yes. Yes, yesterday I let the cashier at the store know... They gave me too much change instead of keeping it, so I got grounded for not being evil enough. Ma! Just give me five minutes, please! My prisoners need a bad movie to watch! Actually, actually, I'm fine with not watching one tonight. It is Halloween. Uh, yeah, I can't believe that me and Josh are actually agreeing on this, but I'm absolutely 100% fine with not watching one tonight as well. Yeah. Oh, shucks, honey. We can't have your little prisoner friends not getting tortured, but you are grounded. Wait, wait. So he's grounded, but you can't... So no movie or movie? What's the deal? Listen, I have, I have no freaking idea. Ah, oh, ma! But, but... Tell you what. How about I help you this time, and then you get back to writing, I will be more evil 500 times. Deal? Yes! God. You tell them what they're watching then, Ma. Hello, little prisoner friends. Tonight you are watching a knockoff of an already bad horror movie. If you thought Pumpkinhead was a cheap monster movie, wait until you see a movie where they took the title literal and with hardly any budget at all. Yeah! You are watching Jacko! A movie about a killer scarecrow with a horribly cheap-looking pumpkin head who even has his own theme song in the town he haunts. Oh, God. Well, the actual movie Pumpkinhead is pretty bad. Uh, couldn't you have less, at least let us watch one of the two sci-fi sequels? I mean, either one would have been fine. Yeah, like, wow, we, we agree on something twice, dude, in one night. Those sci-fi movies, the Pumpkinhead sequels... They looked really bad. Like, bad CGI, bad acting, bad script, and 0% fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Silence! Yes! Silence! Jesus. Now watch your movie or die, okay, sweetie? Oh, and Alex, your sleepover this week is postponed until his grounding is over. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'll come see Alan whenever you say it's okay. Sleepover? Alan? Wait. Master Evil has a name, and it's Alan? What? Yeah, it's Alan Smithy Esquire the Third, But only family is allowed to call him that, Josh. But, family, but you just called him that. Are you family? What? Listen, listen. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. What? Yeah. Wait. Fam family? Now come the hell? On. Let's 
Let your prisoners watch your movie and I'll get Mr. Flivel some dinner. Okay, Ma. See you soon, prisoners, if you survive Jacko. <laughs> Dude. Alan? And only family calls him that? Yeah. What? Well, you read between the lines. I said what I said. So your family? You're related to Master Evil. Were you adopted by the family? Like, what the fuck, dude? Seriously. <laughs> Listen, wise men make wise decisions, and if I have to have... If I had to have a situation where they illegally adopted me in order to not pay for my snacks or my treats or, or things... You know, collections don't just pay for themselves. Do you realize that when we go shopping with Mother Evil, I can put anything I want in the cart, Josh? Anything. Let me guess, she's taking you trick-or-treating tonight, too, right? Of course she is. Why wouldn't yeah, she? Of course she is. Of course she is. Because he's you grounded. So he's still, what, does the grounding start after Halloween or something? Well, she's not heartless. She's evil, but she's, she's not horrible. The lady said... Time to watch your movies, sweeties, or die. I think that's just I think that's just the way she said it. I think that was a, like a I don't think she actually meant death. I think she meant like death by like good times or good by candy. What? Okay, yeah. so so we gotta watch Jacko. I mean, good good try with the whole pumpkin head sequel things from sci fi, because those were pretty shitty. Well, pretty I shitty. tried to get us out of this but you weren't Lance really. Lance Henriksen was in them. Oh, hold on a second, dude. The the I gotta send off a package real quick. Here you go, guy. Here you go. Go ahead. Yeah, just straight out there. Got it. You take it to yeah, Master Evil's house. Yes. Oh. Okay. What what were you sending out? Mail. The rodeo it, clown. This late out. at night. Rodeo clowns helping out. It's it's uh, overnight delivery. Oh, you guys, are, um, you guys are buddies. You're always bitching about how I'm friends with Master Evil, but now you're friends with your torturer? Well, he it's either that or just have him stare at me 24 hours a day. So, Jacko, you have, you've never seen this movie. I, unfortunately, saw this movie when I was a kid, and to this day, whenever I wake up from a nightmare five or six times in a row, it's because of this movie. It, it's really bad. And I hope that this time we actually survive, man, because I don't know. I don't know. We might not escape with our sanity this time. Well, you're you're really building it up in a positive light for me. I just cannot wait to get this movie you started. Deserve, you deserve to have your sanity broke, if anybody does. You Alan know, Smithy it, the third. If it wasn't friend. for Alan and his mother, I don't think that I would be able to make it through these movies. And you don't make things any easier on me. You're always starting shit. I never start shit. But maybe I should. You know what? I think it's time we just put all this to bed, table it, watch the movie, and we'll have a talk later about this whole family Smithy the Third Esquire bullshit. Okay? Oh, yeah. I was going to say, before we start watching the movie, I know you want to start it so we can get the torture over, but uh, three to four weeks in advance, I think Master Evil and Mother Evil, there's a family reunion, and I am I was invited. And, uh, what? I yeah, I just wanted to make sure that we weren't being punished that evening, so I might need the night off. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Well, I got an RSVP. They're expecting us. Like, they sent out invitations. I got to make Who sure that they Who else is going to be at this reunion? Who else are they related to? Dr. Evil? The president? They've... Who are they related to? I'm just telling you that I need to make sure I RSVP because it's rude if I don't because they might put out more appetizers than they should. Oh and nobody wants to waste money like that. You have got it so bad in this torture and being a prisoner. But you know what? I know something you don't know. Things might not be so sunny tomorrow. (laughs) 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 Uh, I don't know that I exactly like where you're going with this. It's almost as if you're planning something. No. <laughs> no. Nope. Start the goddamn movie, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. American independence still can't decide who they're voting for. She were production. They got the power. It said Sharon. I thought it was actually oh. Karen. <laughs> Duh. Wow, I feel like we just violated that pumpkin, man. Jacko, the movie. Jacko Lantern. That's, that's his 
That's his full name on his driver's license. Oh, okay. Okay, mm-hmm. gotcha. Gotcha. Fire bad. Trick or treat, Sean. <laughs> Wait a second. Is, is that his son, or is this like a predator? Is that John Wayne Gacy? Yeah, this is like a uh, Christopher Lloyd situation in Dennis the Menace. He's like, you need to eat all your food so you can grow big and strong and overweight. And then you can tell me crazy stories. There's a story behind that old nursery rhyme, Sean. Why are you saying my name so much? Because that's the name he he just gave his the kidnapped victim. That, he's trying to drill it into his head. Whatever his name was before is not that anymore. It it's now Sean. Swallow it whole. Then just as quick, before you oh, we die, got an audience. The pumpkin man will steal your eyes. What is she doing, actually? She's a shitty story voyeur. <laughs> Many years ago. She has a, she has I a love shitty. This. I love and shitty campfire stories. Crossing. This is the pilot episode for Are You Afraid of the Dark? It didn't pick up. They had to change a few things. <laughs> yeah, so they made it into a made-for-TV movie home, called Are You Afraid of a Pedophile? A right. He told them a monster would come for them. Jocko. Mr. Jocko? Jack- is he a French the man? It's man. Jacko. That Halloween. The only way to stop Jacko is to find a fire flower or a large <laughs> mushroom and power up. The monster. Or an invincible star. Farm, right where we're sitting. There's an old farm right where you're he sitting? Left, He's looking around like, I don't see any cows. A little boy. Sean. Hey, we, we finally Same know what Egon Spangler's son George. looks like. Sean. Sean. It's Sean. Sean Kelly. Spangler. Oh, flashback. <laughs> flashback. Whoa. <laughs> Totally tubular. Whoa. Oh, she's ringing the murder bell, uh, the dinner bell. I wish there was a dinner bell now. My neighbors used to have one when I was a kid. (laughs) Come and get it! Ding, 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 ding. Honey, your, your, your father died. I'm going to show you the body. Wait, you know where you're going. Did you kill your father? Oh, there he is. He's not dead. We don't have a death shroud to put over your father. We just have this large doily that doubles as a sweater that we're going to put over top of him. If I had a sign at my house, it would say Josh LaRue, reader. I don't know. You can't do it for me. Do it for your son. I can't raise him without a father. Do what? Are you going to die, Daddy? Eventually, I'll die. We all do. That's biology, son. John, I s- swear that guy looks. That guy in the picture looks like the guy from Oh God. What was his George Burns? George, he was like 107 when they made Oh God Nine. You and your brother. Oh God, you He's devil! Dead. You don't exist. Let his evil rest. Get off my ass, well. woman! I spent all day at Paramount Studios pretending to be Indiana Jones to provide doilies and dinner bells for this family. And this caterpillar won't get off my mouth. Then let him take his vengeance tonight. Oh, he means business. He slammed that and, and hard camera shot too to show that it's real. Is he going to crucify a kid or a little person? He told me that the ashtray could protect folks. Vern Troyer keeps traipsing around his property, and he's going to put him on that. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ! See, it fits. Son, I'm going to be gone Take for a while. I need to tell point. you about when a man loves Always a woman. Do what she tells you. Always do what Always she tells you. Her. Always love her. Even when she's wrong, she's right. Any woman you ever meet. Where are you meet, going, Daddy? Going to hell, son. Sean, I need to talk to you about that hat you're wearing. You. It's <laughs> fucking no, god-awful. No, Take it off. But there is something you can do. Go fuck yourself. Say a prayer for your daddy tonight. Oh, and say a prayer you for yourself. Dad, are you? Are we ever going to be a family again? Is there ever going to be a time when you're not just in your workshop alone making weird, gigantic wooden crosses? Are you? Are you going to go and fight a giant man with a jack o' lantern for a head? Is that what? Is daddy? Is that where you're going? You said you weren't going to do that anymore. So jack o' lanterns are uh, apparently afraid of crosses. Yes, pumpkins. <laughs> Pumpkins are satanic. You didn't know that? 
Silver bullets uh, also kill pumpkin monsters. Dad, you need to come fix this fence a little bit. It's not complete. Yeah, Dad, Dad you never completed the fence. There's a gigantic <laughs> gaping hole in it. Well, it was... Okay, which part was a dream? The flashback or the campfire or both? Was it a dream within a dream? No, this is a flashback within a dream within an inception. So where's the top at? Is it falling over or still spinning? You know, Leonardo DiCaprio around this time period could have actually been in this movie because he was in fucking Critters 5 at the time. Is is uh is that is Sean look is is Sean looking for Grandpa Seth from uh Nilbog? No, Colton? no. No, John Wayne Gacy, the other grandpa, is actually out there whacking away by the campfire <laughs> alone with his tears as Oh Luke god, is. he's gonna he's gonna whack at the at this at the window in front of Sean. Pumpkin man. Wait, it's a dream within a dream within a flashback within a dream within a and, dream. And he just looks straight at the hard camera, like right at the camera. Ooh, Lania quickly got some clap got some at got some class. You may know her as trash. From Return of the Living Dead, the hottest, hottest punk rock zombie naked dance sequence to a yes. song I'd never heard before in my entire life. Yes. <clears throat> Ooh, Catherine Walsh. I don't know who the fuck that is. That's the wife of John Walsh. Everyone knows him uh, from America's Most Wanted. Rachel's like, get Tom, get out of here. I'm getting my own title card. Damn it, Helen. Hey, get Bill Cro Cross. Bill Cross uh, liked his last name so much he just had to get a gigantic cross <laughs> in the film somewhere. Ooh, special appearances. Oh, John Carradine. Uh, yeah. Of the Carradine family. Yeah. Who's, who's Cameron Mitchell? <laughs> How's that special? That's Kel Mitchell's little brother from Ooh, uh, Bink Keenan and Kel. Binky Stevens. Oh, Brinky Stevens. My bad. Don of the Wildsmith. It's a Maxwell J. Beck uh, director of photography flick, man. And do you think that's his real name, Wayland, or is that a stage name? Why did his parents name him Wayland if his last name was Strickland? That's a lot of land in his name. Mr. Strickland! Mr. Strickland! Mr. Landland! <laughs> Quit being a slacker! <laughs> the school burnt down ten years ago! <laughs> Don't you look to me like a slacker! That's right, sir, I am! I am a slacker! This movie, it said, is based on a story by two authors. So it took two people to write a story that this movie was based on. Oh, Patrick Moron, that explains it. <laughs> ah! Oh, I thought that was Jacko. It's like they just dropped the camera, they set it down between takes, and accidentally left it recording. Eh, it looks cool, leave it in there. Yeah, Jacko was actually a found footage film, yeah, one of the first of its kind. By that car? No. A found no, footage that's a dream within a dream within a dream within a dream. Why do they sound like they're like way off? Like one of those scenes in a sitcom where they're driving away and you can hear them talking, you know? That's what they guy, sound like. The guy running the boom mic fell asleep because this movie is a shitter. As long as it's not that Gacy looking guy. That girl's like, listen, we're going to wear the same Mr. exact jacket Jim, today, okay? Snap your spine cut, you I thought you said you were going to quit singing nursery boy. rhymes to us yeah, after I'm Itsy Bitsy Spider at recess. How do you know he's not lying? He probably didn't tell you about the witch either. What witch? Robbie says he saw a witch walking around the neighborhood this morning. It was a bitch, not a witch. God, clean your ears out. She ran a stop sign, man. Oh, yeah, See well, that? Why, why were those two cars parked in uh, opposite man, directions, one going north, one going well. south? It's a math equation, trying She's to work stopping. it out. <laughs> if a jack-o'-lantern that's possessed by Satan is heading north on a train heading due east <laughs> at 15 miles per hour. What is this woman, like, frustrated with? She's like, now, do you believe me? She's like she's standing me. behind that's someone in line that's counting out change for? or something. Because she fucking drew the short stick for the carpool, and she's got to drive this little psycho who's telling all these the nursery rhyme stories every day in the back of her car. They uh, they used to throw rocks at witches and not hit them apparently. I'll get her this time. She's I'll like, I am mildly annoyed, out. little boy. She looks so annoyed. She really looks like someone in front of her in line is counting change out uh, at checkout. Or, or or when you're behind someone at the grocery store and they pull out the freaking wick uh, <laughs> coupons for like milk and diapers and shit, <laughs> eggs. Uh, Robbie, Robbie, ah! get off of him. 
<laughs> well, I thought she said get off on him. I was like, okay, woman, back off. The yeah. only person that's allowed to mount Sean is his grandpa, John Wayne Gacy, and you know that. At a campfire. Hello? Oh, I get it. He woke up from a dream because he was Sean? drugged, right? That way the grandpa's like, you were dreaming. It was all a dream. Home, Sean? My dad won't let me ride with strangers. I just live down the street. You're giving away a lot of information to a stranger, just so you know. This lady looks exactly like the um, lady from Who's the Boss, who yes. was Tony Danza's, like, uh, you know, from the old neighborhood. I can't even remember. Rosina, or whatever her name was. I can't even remember her name. Is, Mrs. Everybody, Rosina. On, is everybody on Xanax in this town? Like, they're really slow with all their motions and, like, turning their head. Oh, and, oh everybody's on Adderall. Real slow. I stopped the boy from vandalizing my car. They got in a fight. Everything sounds like a flat, like a memory, Bobby. the way the voice is. Yes. <laughs> like a dream sequence. He's a lot bigger than you. Sean held his own quite well. Looks like you taught him a lesson, Sean. Go on in and get cleaned up. Taught him a lesson? He's getting his ass kicked. <laughs> hey, don't tell mom you, you got didn't get. You got your ass kicked, Sean. You really got hammered, but you didn't give up until that lady <laughs> stopped the fight. So you did a great job, kid. Well, he's in the house now. Your son got the shit kicked out of him. You should be proud of him. Brave little boy. Sean's special. Oh. I'd love to Asshole. See <laughs> Sean took a really CM Punk in the UFC level ass whooping and just took well, it. <laughs> we need all the help we can get. I'd hate to impose. He sounds so... <laughs> it's like everybody's drugged. <laughs> You'd hate to impose with your shitty dialogue that you're delivering right now. <laughs> Wait, he just went in his house and it's the woods? Is this the spook house they're building? That's the gateway to Neilbog. Ernest has got the high ground out there. Rimshot! There's nothing in that closet for me. <laughs> yeah, walk into the creepy forest that just appeared in the middle of your house. That's what I would do, Sean. Well, Sean, you know, <laughs> Sean doesn't quite know how to handle himself. He he's was just special. getting his, yeah, he was just getting his ass kicked. He's been molested in an earlier scene. A lot of st heavy stuff going on for Sean right now. But great Scott. I'm doing some research. Wait, is this a, is this a great memory great or a flashback? It like did the Actually, I was hoping to get some perspective from you. <laughs> it seems your family was A flashback of him fixing ago. a sign on his garage. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go back to this a very important plot point. Linnea, hey. quickly! Damn it! Honey, no. this is Vivian nope. Mackin. She's doing a history of Oklahoma. Wait, she is that woman the, the one up there and next to the guy? Is that the one that was watching at the campfire? Maybe. Can at least it might have been the lady that was in the woods. The creepy, shitty story voyeur. She's in on it with the grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! There's little use in trying to resist me. Oh! Um, he just comes straight out with it. <laughs> so, that Native American is actually crying because Sean was about ready to litter. Linda, what do you want this stuff? Dude, that old Native American straight up said, it's useless to resist me. He's, uh, I think he's friends with the grandpa or something, man. People have huh? been... Hey, what now, huh? Where, where are we... Is this still inside of his house? Everything, Sean? Is, everything is shot like a nightmare. This like, is why you don't go into your house when they're fumigating it. This is what the tent's there for. Yeah, the tents are also around that house when they're fumigating so they can make blue meth. Sean he, should know this. He's going to run into uh, Sinbad and the lead singer of uh, Matchbox 20 in a minute. That's an always sunny in Philadelphia joke, by the way. I haven't seen uh, very much of that show, but oh, what I have okay. seen, I, I've enjoyed. I love the one where they're trying oh, to drink all the beer, the do. Wade Boggs challenge. Oh. Oh, I love that one. Oh, my God. That's he just said we have the devil's work to do. And he's carrying a cross. Okay, this just took an ugly turn. Wait, okay, wait a second. So Sean's went into the woods, and now he's in a flashback of when he was uh, himself in another life, like, years ago, and now he's seen dead bodies? That's okay. Yep. In a kind of vaguely modern barn, honestly. I don't even know what to say to this. Jacko! Jacko, I saw it! Oh, they did it! They did the thing! You said the thing! Sean. Jacko's, Jacko, Jacko, right? first appearance. You 
look like you oh, go Billy Teen is not my lover. Of course, Sean, you can ride any train you want in Neverland. <laughs> right now, your father tells me your favorite television show is Sean, on. what your grandpa you like John Wayne is doing is what we so. call in the industry as grooming. <laughs> Wait, why is the dad already letting the strange lady in the house that he just met? Sure, baby. Who's this? Oh, it's his mom, okay. I have a hard time uh, believing Who are you? That... <laughs> I have a hard time believing that either one of these women could actually be hurt. They have hair helmets on. There's enough Aquanet on their head to stop any bullet or a cross or spear. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I'm going to have to pass on dinner tonight. I, I have a prior commitment I completely forgot about. <laughs> I'm going to have to oh, pass on dinner tonight. I completely forgot what? that I'm an insensitive bitch. You can count on it. <laughs> I don't care about anyone else's Sean. feelings or plans. But what about Sean? <laughs> Sean Stain. He's special. Ah! Oh, God! That That's was bright as fuck. Major glare. <laughs> oh, no shit. Turn your brights off while you're filming. I feel like we're about to have like a graboid come out of the ground and pull this truck under for some reason. <laughs> oh, going. we had to we had to get that shot of the headlights turning off there. Well boys, we're here. Look out point. We're gonna do some cow ripping. You mean cow tipping? Sure, whatever. This really sucks. What sucks, Brett? There's no the cows. More cemetery supposed to be right over there. I don't see any graves. I just said it's supposed to be over there, you fucking you ass. Me? Obviously, it's not there. I would have said there it is. I wouldn't have said it's supposed to be there. This is the third appearance of a denim jacket in the first 16 minutes of the film. It's a big. It's a 90s thing, bro. Dog, bro, dog, dog, bro. <laughs> it's, it's a 90s thing, son. <laughs> Don't you know you shit down? I saw an old map is that Kimberly in the middle right there from Power Rangers? California. No, but it actually is Jason David Frank next to oh, her, okay. the White Ranger. Yeah, and, and that's uh, a very thin, that's a very thin it's down, summer, healthier bulk <laughs> next to them. It looks like um, she looks like Amy Jo Johnson's uh, stunt double. That is so weird that you said that because I was thinking that was Jason David Frank's <laughs> stunt double. <laughs> I had a beer in it. That's a party foul. I swear that cemetery should be right there. Ham's light. I guess it kind of had beer in it. So he chases it down because it still had beer in it just to pour the beer out. Yeah, what a dumb son of a bitch. He doesn't even know what he's doing. What an idiot. Come on, Pa. Quit screwing around and help us find the graveyard. Well, we got to find the killer jack-o'-lantern-headed killer so this movie can start. Yeah, besides, it's morphin' time! <laughs> Three beep, 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 That guy did that scream from all the movies, like that. Like There's a name for that scream, by the way. I can't remember the name of it. Don't fight it. So this movie's 1995. So these people were probably auditioning around the same time Wes Craven was auditioning for Scream. This and is they're the like, year Carnosaur 2 came out, man. Oh man! So uh, Ryan probably could have uh, been up for a role in this film. They ask Mr. Amy Jo Johnson, they're like, listen, you actually tested well for both uh, parts, uh, Scream and Jacko. Which one do you think will do better? I'm and going with, yeah, Maybe I'm going with folks. Jacko, son. Jacko, hero, fuck no, yeah. Happy fuck Scream. What, Meta? What's Meta, huh? Speaking of Scream. Too terrifying. Oh, that's a skeleton. your mind cease to believe that which I've shown you to be true? Why is Sean, Sean why is he constantly alone with strange the men? <laughs> mind is capable of almost anything. Sean. From it springs the most wonderful of notions in the darkest of evil. Sean. Welcome to my asylum of horrors. Sean. Oh, yes. Back in the day when TVs were actually the just doctor. as big as yeah. the, you know, thing that it was on top of. <laughs> right. <laughs> I used to have one of them wooden, uh, wooden cabinet, cabinet TVs. On, yeah. Uh, knob. Yep. Uh, and it actually doubled uh, as like a VCR holder, and like you had like picture frames on top of it and VHS tapes. That monster, its roar, like its scary sound, was oh. Uh, uh, Can I watch 
much stuff oh. to cover tomorrow before I go trick or treating. Sean, you're not doing shit tonight because you've been having night tears in and out of, of sleep all day in daydreams at night sleeping. You're, you're losing it, Sean. It's to the point I don't even know if what's happening right now is a dream or not, Sean. Yeah, Sean, you may be dreaming right now. Come on, let's go check it out. I mean, I can't even live a normal life. I'm constantly being snapped into some kind of flashback or nightmare you're having. Even even my voice sounds like a memory now. Every item of clothing that that dad is wearing is two sizes too large. It's just hip hop has got this guy. Very good. We'll make a ghoul out of you yet. You get a home or a girl. Do I need a baby Ooh, Wonder Bread. What I wouldn't give for some fucking like Wonder Bread and some peanut gosh, butter right now and a big and glass of milk. Some planters peanut butter. They made some good peanut butter. It's out of... It's out of... They don't make it no more. You know what is scarier than Jacko? Oh, Trying to spread Nutella on on bread. <laughs> it just rips it in half. Nutella is impossible to spread. We're hunting the homeless. David. And we're gonna hit up those acting classes on the way home. No shit. I haven't seen I one person in this else. film that is. That I, uh, that's a believable decent. actor. <laughs> God. In your dreams, David. Now get to work, boys. They don't have SAG cards. They have sad cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's that cross, that giant crucifix. The the denim jacket hey guys, in this here. film was actually nominated for uh, for an Academy. It was actually the only thing nominated for anything good in this film: the denim jacket or the doily. Dad, they found. Dad, they found. They found the cross. Send down the putties. <laughs> Should I send down the the strong putties or the ones that have like the button that they know to hit to destroy them? Killer old cross. My only weakness, right on the front of my body, Shame, never gave you. with a bullseye on it. <laughs> Maybe they didn't move all the bodies. And I don't so have my morpher with that. me. Yeah, no shit. Where's Maybe Alpha 5 ready. when you need him? Get out of this terrible movie. Let's go see what else we can find. As long as it's not Alpha 6, because that's when I quit watching. That was horrible. Yo, 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 I'm Alpha 6. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yeah, Alpha 5 was doing a good job, uh, you know, carrying the show. Him and Billy were in almost every episode up until that point. Dude, they were shitty as hell to the guy that played Billy. They, like, ran him out of there. Yeah, and he, Dave, uh, he actually is a really, really wonderful person from everything oh, yeah. I've seen. I want to get a cameo from him. He's cool. Okay, this movie just took a turn for the better. Is this Linnea Quigley? I cannot tell, and I really don't care. Yes, it's Linnea Quigley. Oh, I get to do some more editing and put our faces on there. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be rubbing us right there. Tonight, What's the we'll make of this scene? <laughs> Oh, I know what the, there's two points to this scene. I'll oh, only... Seriously. I'll only be in this uh, nude in this movie if it's tastefully done and has a point or like you know a reason for me to be nude. Oh, we're just gonna start with you naked in the shower. We don't even we haven't seen your character yet. Come on. Not Until even cleaning yourself, just caressing yourself sensually. Okay, they, we'll give you a bar of soap. They just splice together shots of Red Shoe Diaries because they didn't have enough money to fi finish the actual movie. That's how they got Carradine in there. Family yeah. hookup. Dude, I am so distracted, I can't even riff right now. She needs to make sure that her hips and quads Wait. and legs are washed. I know how to fix it. She is probably in her 60s now. Got <laughs> it. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, I don't even care about the 60s thing. Okay, I'm good now. Sean. That outfit that lady's wearing looks like an outfit a waiter would wear in the 80s, like an Italian restaurant waiter. It almost looked like some of the stuff Zach's mom wore on Safe by the Bell. Oh, God. Peter, Paul, and Mary, just like we were talking about off camera. That is her, isn't it? That, that's definitely Linnea Quigley. Julie, I was trying to rub my boobs. Can you call back later? I told you. This time is is, is yeah, made out for boob rubbing. College education, and I can't even get her to answer the phone. I told you not to bother me while I'm cleaning my room. Babysit for Sean. Mom. Linda, I've got this Halloween party. 
party to go to. Why does Linnea Quigley have to be a shitty actress in this? She's good in other stuff. Why is she? Why is she delivering her lines like this? It was part of the contract. They're like, you have to, listen, you can't uh, act decent what, in this uh, film. You have to be as shitty as fan. the surrounding actors I'll and actresses. I'll over and show her the ropes. I'll watch Sean until it's time to go to the party. And I'll then get a little boob over. rubbing in, and then she can take over. Oh, you'll like Julie. She's really reliable. And she had Very time to rub sure. her boobs. She was in a shower for, like, at least two to three minutes, and her hair is still not wet. Dude, it, it takes, yeah, no, you know it takes 45 minutes to clean your breast. Tom Mason. <laughs> <laughs> I am sick and tired of real Americans having to apologize to fake Americans, homeless, disabled, or a minority. That, that guy is tricking. Yeah, that guy is a slob. He looks like Barf on You Can't Do That on Television. Carolyn Miller moves in across the street and our property values plummet. She's a divorced woman, Amanda. Simple as that. You know, God. divorced women make property values plummet. <laughs> If she were a dog... She's I'd looking out the window more than my girlfriend Nicole does. Nicole, that's, like, is the peeper. That's, that's, uh, Clarissa explains it all in 25 years. <laughs> that's who that woman was. Sam, Sam and her are finally married. He, he still comes in through the window on a fucking ladder. <laughs> hmm. I think someone was doing boob rubbing in that truck. This is lady there, looks. Is there a shitty story being told here? This lady looks like an older Cat Dennings. Let's get under covers. Sean. <laughs> we still don't know if Sean's actually dreaming right now. I know. I have no fucking clue, man. No idea. Yes, son. The monster's real. Yes, Sean. Yes, I'm married to one. It's gonna be fun, like on the Doctor Cadaver show or at Halloween. In fact, she starred in Step Monster. What about Mr. Jack? Mr. Jacko, Mr. Jack the, man. Mr. Jack the guy that grabs his crotch and goes, <laughs> We're like 30 minutes into this movie and there hasn't been one death yet. <laughs> I've seen about eight career deaths already. God, man, I, like, you're supposed to have, like, at least a kill, one or two by now. This is insane. You used to get in trouble? Sure did. And we're both going to be in trouble if your mom finds out you're not asleep yet. Ooh, I thought he was going to say something else there, Josh. <laughs> I know. We're both going to be in trouble if your mom finds out what we were up to last night. Ooh, that was too much eye contact for a kiss on the hip forehead, though. Sean. Social distance, Dad, seriously. You yeah, die, Dad. Mr. Jack will stew your eyes. I guess Jack is blind or something. Is that why he's taking everybody's eyes? Uh, it, he better rip one eyeball out in this movie. If he doesn't, then I'm calling bullshit on the whole thing. Well, you know, I, you got to give Jacko some street cred because it, it's looking like the, his first victims are, in fact, going to be the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Oh my God, she's cheating on Tommy with like. Well, that wasn't bulk. Back. Young, <laughs> young oh, bulk. bulk. Okay, it, that's actually me. Bulk and Skull's son that they had together. Don't go there. Bulk. Skulk or Bull? What would the name be? Skulk. Skulk. He actually, uh, uh, Skull's son was actually, uh, on, uh, Power Rangers, uh, Samurai. Him and, oh, he, he was being trained to be a ninja by Bulk. <laughs> it was just a few years ago. Bulk was like 44 on the show, for real. I'm sure like it was show. just, I'm sure it was, it was just dynamite ninja lessons by Bulk. <laughs> Skull shows up in the final episode in a limo like he's rich or something. They're like, we can either pretend like your character on the show is rich or we can pay you scale. He's like, oh, we're <laughs> pretending like my character is rich. I don't need any money for this. I'm actually friends with Bulk, Paul, uh, the actor on Twitter, and we've talked. He's a really cool guy. Get the hell out of here. Are you really? Uh, uh, you can message him and talk to him. He'll write back. No. He um, reminds me of the guy from Ernest, uh, the bigger guy. It's a dream. I think we're in a dream. Wait. Yeah. Did he just like pop the guy's chest? <laughs> he hit his. He hit him in the putty putty part of his chest. Oh, he's like, I can't hardly hold this up. Oh god, it's so heavy. <clears throat> yeah, put down. Put down the only thing that made him go away from you. Well, that works too, I guess. So so far, I'm just seeing that Jacko's a pussy. 
Yeah, Jacko's getting his ass kicked. Just is getting Jacko his ass kicked. Sean in the future. <laughs> He's just laying there in the fetal position while someone ground and pounds the shit out of him. You cannot resist me, Sean. And Jacko kids your parents. <laughs> Jacko's actually not a killer. He's just really, really persistent and annoying. <laughs> he just What's... takes a beating. What's Emperor Palpatine doing in this movie? Yeah, something, something, Dark Side I Jackal. Am Judge Hill. <laughs> something, Not something, Jackal. <laughs> do it! Do it now, Jacko! Do it! Do it! Somebody should really talk to a meteorologist because this town has some fucked up looking weather. Yeah, no shit. Fog just appears out of nowhere. <laughs> it appears to be coming from the ground, Josh. <laughs> You mean to tell me that in in 80 years, nobody pulled that cross never came out of the ground until this night when the drunk <laughs> Power Rangers stunt doubles? Mighty Morphin stunt doubles. Yeah, and especially with the way the, the weather just changes from minute to minute in this town, that, that cross stayed up <laughs> for like 100 years. Superhuman samurai stunt doubles. Rita Repulsa, ah, after 10,000 years, Jacko's free! Now to conquer this town. Now to conquer this hollow plot point. I need to steal someone's eyes, though. The song said so. So said. Said so. Okay, is what's happening a dream? Or is he? Is Jacko really coming out of the ground? All right. I, he's having the dream right now about his great ancestor fighting Palpatine. Jacko. What a, yeah, Palpatine. But I think what is actually happening is... Rita is Rita Jacko is going after the Power Rangers. It looks like a Power Ranger force field now from the show. <laughs> Shit. What is going on here? You must do as I command. Kill them. Kill them. Kill the writer and the director. <laughs> Kill the person who came up with this terrible Kill movie your idea. Agent. What was that noise? Eh, it's just that psychopathic scarecrow with the pumpkin head over there. I wonder if this film production was Union. <laughs> there's, there's no way. Western Union. They I got paid. Meant. They got paid with AT and T phone cards. You guys, can we go now? I'm against this tree for a convenient kill. <laughs> oh god! Every kill is gonna be off fucking screen. It's dude Palpatine. Have you not figured it out? He's got the force. Jacko has got the force. He's got a hell of a reach, though. Yeah, I mean, his, his lo arms are like ten feet long. That other woman's like, nobody's telling a shitty story. I guess I'll watch this get murdered by the force. It's like they, they had a shooting schedule just to shoot Jacko doing the movement. You know, and then they filmed the rest of the movie with the bikes together. Oh, for sure. Jacko was on set, actually, for half a day. He was just bit. He was in makeup for like a quarter of the day, and he was just smoking cigarettes and bitching for the other half of the day. Would you give up that easy, honestly? Fuck no. Jacko's gonna have to like really work to get me. I am so confused. Okay, My so head is actually hurting. It's <laughs> like the third time this fucking kid has looked at straight into the camera. He's driving me nuts. And if the director's telling him to do that, I want to get a hold of the director and slap him. He's having a rerun dream. Okay. He's asleep again. No. He's a Josh. No. He's asleep again. <laughs> Stop it. WTF, Stop it. bud. <laughs> the fuck is going on? She's all like, and all you had to do was tell some shitty stories. What is she doing out there? Or did you, Is she part of Jacko or something? They said she was a witch, a bitch, or whatever. So she, Jacko is Michael Jackson, and she's Liz, oh, she's Liz right, Taylor. Right, so and Palpatine is her grandfather. My power is much greater than even I believe. Pumpkin. The Northern Lights in all its glory. Dude, I would move the fuck out of this town if that's how the weather looked every night. <laughs> it just looks like shit. There's like fog coming out of the ground of like electrical you know currents falling from the sky at all times it's not lightning it's just the way it is she's like shit i got to go bury some more bodies there's no way that car has four wheel drive what the hell is she doing out there far with that car 
why does Jacko just stand there? Like, that's what he did earlier. You're a fucking superhuman pumpkin-headed beast. You don't have to stop people. You can reach, like, 20 feet. Just kill them. Ponzi, 20 How's years later. Then? I was just so gonna... Not so happy days. Hey, I just, oh! I was, hey, I was just gonna say he's gonna j try to jump a shark on oh. that thing. You're jump a shark. Right. Well, I try. Not really, I'm just... You're like a little hey, boy this is actually uh, the character who ends up giving Jacko his uh, hockey mask. Right. I like little boys. Oh my god, so does, you, so does Sean's grandpa. Yeah, so does, That's a so does he, I nice think. nice bike your friend has there. Go look at it. As long as you're not really look, screaming uh, right now, it's fine. But don't touch. Same rules as a strip club. I'm going to be creepy to this young lady. Oh yeah, I always like to make, make out right in front of a ten-year-old. You had one job, Sean. Don't touch. And the first thing you do like when you get there... You don't even look at it. He said, look, don't touch. Ahead, he didn't out. look at the bike. He just started touching it. Well, I guess I better go <laughs> you know this guy's a badass. He doesn't have a helmet on. He doesn't, even obey, he doesn't even obey helmet laws, man. You say dumbass or badass? So He's a badass. Else? No, not lately. Not lately. Not, not since I was a toddler. Should I put what? on a helmet? Nope. No, that hockey mat, that plastic hockey mask you got from Kmart should protect you well enough, Sean. Huh, there's a Sean, foreshadow to Tim. Sean. He just said Sean, but his mouth didn't it's move. It's alright. Tim's a real safe biker. <laughs> yeah, he's so safe. You know, he's so safe he doesn't need protective headgear. Are you still there, Alex? Oh, I'm here. I just don't know what to say about that scene. <laughs> I have no words. Oh, he took me in the cul-de-sac. Oh, hey, no helmets. Let's hopefully they don't busey themselves here in a second. I used to call I those uh, therm Hi. thermometer you streets when I was a kid. What's that noise? Okay, it was two. It was two weeks ago. Because they look like a top of a thermometer. Get thermometer. Get off that bike right now. Can you can you stop the bike the first before it's you tell your son to get off of it? Really bad choice of words there. Someone needs to tell Linnea quickly that Rocky Balboa wants his sweater back from the first film. Hey, hey, this this sweater brings me good luck. No, Rock, you know what that sweater brings? It brings flies. Pumpkin headed creepo killers. So is this whole movie the the John Wayne Gacy guy telling Sean the story the campfire or something? I don't like, know. Like is he awake? I don't know. There's no way that this movie didn't oh, go to the theaters, it. did it? This is this is no. spooky Halloween. I bought VHS. Yes. I want to suck at this movie. <laughs> I want to have a new agent. What's with the book? One bad, bad actor. Ha, ha, ha. Two bad actors. Ha, oh, I love those ha, old pictures. Ha. Too many bad actors. Is that You're a Sega game again. here? Uh, hey, it's old man Palpatine. Sega Game Gears were, were the shit, but uh, you had to plug them in all the time because the battery life was, I mean, like, awful. I, I stuck with Game Boy, even even though they didn't have color or 16 bits. I was a Nintendo man. Or my parents, that's, that's all they'd buy me. Game Boy fucking sucked. Uh, th like, three-bit graphics. It was, even, it was like, the worst, man. I love the games. Tiny Toons was fun. Animaniacs is back. You must have seen his picture somewhere before. Is it? Yeah, they're bringing it back on Hulu. There's cool. even a trailer. That woman is freaking the shit out of me. <laughs> the Animaniacs. Jacko's in a shitty film. We don't have to rhyme because we don't have the time. <laughs> they're Animani, punk and head movie's, and <laughs> This movie's making me. This movie's very. This movie's very grainy. <laughs> This this movie's unsustainy. <laughs> the plot points it's are over. grainy. It's Thank over. You. The you end. That, that was an easy one. one. Thank God. Like, Master good. Evil. Thank you. Master Thank you. Evil. Happy Halloween. I'm out of here. Oh, shit. I don't oh. want to scare you off. Son of John. A I want you to sit back and observe. Welcome to my asylum of horrors. The doctor... That guy's tie is so off to the side that it's distracting the piss out of me. The Coven. Never talked much about the good old days, and the Coven. 
<laughs> that's too close to home. No that's that's too real was life. A, yeah. Walter Mackin was oh, a king of sorcery. Yeah. He was linked to the disappearance of many innocent townsfolk. In all seriousness, I want to say I thought so with my co-host of Adam Slash. I hope you get better, Sean. He's got he's it's got terrible. Corona. Before Wait a minute, Sean is your co-host? Walter vowed revenge. Not this Sean. Not this Sean. Oh, not, not this Sean. <laughs> red with the blood of the Kelly clan. The shit. Or anyone connected with them within Sean. one year's time. According to legend, his prophecy almost came true. Oh, he's doing better, though. Halloween he's night, doing good. 1915. Don't know you, Sean, but I hope you feel better. Came out of the ground and took Mackin's bloody revenge. You said Why did it have to be bloody revenge? Why couldn't it just been like legal revenge? And raised up from hell. <laughs> Jacko's Stop like, I'm gonna get all those people back in a class action lawsuit that they are gonna be feeling for years. Right. Mind you, most of it's just legend. I I'm could squeeze the shit out of their necks fiction. and kill them, or I could squeeze them financially. You said they lynched Walter Mackin? <laughs> They'll have to decide between the power bill the and world. groceries for years Time to come. Heals all wounds. And so does Band Aids. Always the blood and the terror. My soul cried out. Oh, you're not supposed to do that. Don't take your hand off. How come? And I you're supposed to say goodbye before you do that on the Ouija board. Grasping, tearing at their own flesh in the flesh. Wait, is this a horror movie they're watching or a porno? I don't know, but this kid is having terrible night terrors and uh, he's having like even day day nightmares. Why is everything he's watching horror movie related? I don't know. It's the worst parents ever. My death bringing life to the coven. She brought death to the coven. Of course she did. You do have her standing, like, touching a tombstone and walking off camera, right? I'm surprised that she's not in a shower right now with that cape on, just washing her hips and breasts. Oh, I don't know. I, I vote to help you wash the dishes. It makes me really uncomfortable. All this talk about curses and blood in the streets. That's Why is Dracula stuff. wearing like a war, World War II medal <laughs> on his neck right now? <laughs> it's it's actually the Medal of Merit. His uh, his stepdaughter was the cop from uh, Demonic Toys versus Puppet Master. Can I help oh, she gave that to uh, herself. Vivian. Medal of Merit. <laughs> no, no, thanks. That's what you called it. Sean, this don't game. even know if he's awake or not. Dude, Sean is like get killing it in this movie. He is so good at just staring at things. Hey, the Hamburglar. Wobble, it's a wobble. Costume. Wobble, wobble, wobble. They say that there are only two oh, things. Oh, there's Clarissa the explains it all back there. <laughs> what a load of liberal crap, I tell you. Is this guy supposed well, to be like a Rush Limbaugh knockoff? Yes. Yeah. It's so true. That's what I've always said, Richard. Well, maybe you should co host so it with him. Yes, Richard, that's what I've always said. This man that uh, uh, Rush Limbaugh knockoff is brilliant. Let me go peep out the window some more, Richard. These trick-or-treaters are absolute rookies. They're carrying around those stupid Halloween. They can't fill any candy in that shit. Pillowcase. 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 What are they doing? You put it over the person's head, pull tight. When they pass out, you take all the candy. Or, if you're serious about your trick-or-treating, you get two fucking big garbage bags and double-layer that shit. Trick-or-treat. It's not even Halloween, children. What the fuck are you doing? Sir, we'd like some candy. You want some candy? You're not going to get candy. You're going to get New Testaments or a bag of pennies. And some roller rollers. You're going to like it. If you want candy, I suppose we have some of those big orange peanuts available in the bag. Good. You can use them as a doorstop. Why did that remind me of Dumbo Circus when you said that? That old show. <laughs> oh, no. Dumbo Circus! Yeah, creepy, creepy. You ever watch that? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what show I did watch that was kind of yeah, similar to that? Was uh, the Alice in Wonderland live-action show that was on the Disney Channel when I was, like, nine? Yeah. The guy who's, like, uh, got, like, cross eyes, and he played the caterpillar. <laughs> Dude, you don't even know how to TP the hash yeah. correct. You don't throw the roll on top. They don't know how to TP, they don't know how to fucking get candy, they don't know how to do anything. Where'd that other roll go that was up there a second ago? And this movie, if this was actually COVID, you know, COVID related, that would be the scariest part of this film. Because They're TP was it. Yeah, TP was very hard to get in the start of it. And it's not even on the house now. They did their, Oh, okay, there it is. It wasn't there a second ago. That guy's like, Thank Damn you! you! <laughs> Thank you! It was done at Walmart, I appreciate it! 
damn you kids, these five strands of toilet paper is going to mildly inconvenience me. <laughs> hey, get out of the yard! Okay, oh. I'm sorry. Jacko's over there just jerking off <laughs> in the woods watching this guy. This is a family show, fucker. <laughs> Dude, is that is that is that cheese? I want some cheese. Oh, I would love a cheese platter right now. I asked for cheese from him, and all he got me was store brand cheese whiz. Eh, that's not too bad. You must have you must have pleased him somehow this week. It, it was it's it, it was open already, so it had that really long hard piece in the nozzle. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> we aim to spook. Ooh, he's got an Atari twenty six hundred. Oh, that says. Fog fluid, so that must actually be what they're using for the film. Yeah, right. I thought it's for all. The, yeah. <laughs> that I guy's... want. I want to be killed by Jacko. Jacko. He's all... Hey, he's all. You just sometimes you just can't draw any kids to your haunted garage anymore. Trick or treat. Why am I giving Jacko that voice? That's how I pictured if he talked. God. My name's Jacko. Hello. This adult looks like he just did a drug deal with his kid. Come on, kid. We got you. Got the candy. You got the candy. Pick up the candy. All right, another flashback for no I thought, reason. I thought this movie was like over earlier when she caused the coven to die. <laughs> She's allergic to tombstones. No, she was actually rewatching uh, her dailies from uh, shooting earlier in the day. <laughs> Yet to me, they still lived on. The voices of the dead coven called out to me from the earth. Jacko is just, uh, he's, he's a man of mystery, all right? He doesn't do a lot of killing, but when he does do killing, it's off camera. Yeah, he, he does, and he, and, he, and he Jackos in the shadows, Jacko. <laughs> Jack, now I get his name. Sounds like our first batch I understand of now. Everybody looks spooky. Let's go get him. John. I wish I could be that excited about anything in my entire life at this point. I wish I could have an actual Halloween instead of being stuck in this dreary <laughs> place with a rodeo clown and hard cheese whiz. Yeah, Master Evil's only letting me go trick-or-treating for a few hours. Okay. Well, Sorry we're late, but Julie and her boyfriend just had to fit in a game of pool. You know how they are. They, you know how they are with their billiards. Come with me. Give them a cue ball and they'll take a nine ball. I gotta know what I gotta know what the pay situation was for Linnea Quigley on this film. Hey, that dude's not even acting. He's just staring at her. I'm like, yeah, we got yeah, this movie. Sean, we we need you to just stare at TVs, stare at the camera, stare at people. Your job is to just stare. Come on, and at the camera every time you wake up. You guys help yourself. It's open season on the fridge. Oh shit! I thought you were gonna say help yourself to her. <laughs> Why did they invite Sean to the orgy? Okay, Pumpkin Man, are you ready? I'm gonna get my mask. Okay, hurry up. My Let's name is not light. Pumpkinhead. It's Pumpkin Hade. This it's French. So I keep telling you that. I know. Listen, so Linnea Quigley, you know my name's not Pumpkinhead. My name is Sean. That's why they said my name was Sean 17 times in the opening scene. So we okay, wouldn't have Sean. awkward situations like this. TV dinner. Hell yeah. Oh, man. Good. You know what was a good TV dinner? A hungry man turkey with the, with the stuffing and the hard-ass mashed potatoes. Oh, love all your neighbors, certainly. Has this guy got a 24-7 public access show or something? Yeah, there's no way. There, there's no commercial breaks. He just, no sidekick, nothing. Just staring right down the tube at you. Talking bullshit. Those shitty assholes. Richard. What, Clarissa? I'll fix it. <laughs> Grabs his ladder, crawls out the window. We should get cable. Two of the liberal media, Amanda, will get cable when they pry the antenna out of my cold, okay. dead hands. ass uh, hands. <laughs> On your knees, hell pigs. Doc! What? Hell pigs. Why did she need a wrench to pull off a hubcap? Don't hubcaps just fucking snap on? I'll make some more toast while you answer the door. How am I supposed to make some toast while I'm answering the door, bitch? 
the guy's gonna wake up the next day and be like, "Oh, my one hubcap is three feet away from <laughs> from my car." You this, little whippersnappers. Yeah, this kind of sucks. I'll just have to snap it right back on. Mister Jack goes jacking. Oh, jacking. Oh. <laughs> Jacko, you know Jacko's been somewhere like doing something sexually illicit. If there's just a bunch of pumpkin seeds in that crap from the top of the pumpkin <laughs> on the you, ground, or you find out his name is Mister Jacko because he shows up with a car jack and helps the guy fix his hubcap. Yeah, it's a double entendre. <laughs> Mister Jacko. <laughs> That's actually not a sickle he's carrying around. It's actually a jack. <laughs> I want to jack you. Oh. Yeah, that would be funny to just walk up and start All jacking right, the car yellow, up. Red I had to walk four feet for this yeah, thing. Rat bastards. Well, if this guy wasn't so fucking wound so tight, these kids wouldn't want to mess with him all the time. His problem is he's not taking Xanax like the rest of the town. A little bit for trick-or-treating, aren't you, bucko? It's Jacko. God damn, how hard is it to get my name right? Not I kinda bucko, wa- Jacko. I kind of want to have this guy die. I'll cut your belly open. <laughs> Like this? Yeah. Is this how you want to cut my belly open? I'm down with this. Totally fine. He wasn't off screen. Holy shit. Who the hey, hell cuts their toast like that? Plot, plot. He never stopped to make the toast on the way out the door. Hey, hey. A possessed uh, pumpkin-headed uh, jack-o'-lantern, you know, scarecrow killing people in town. That's more believable than somebody cutting their toast like that. <laughs> Do you think they added the scene where she said, be sure to make the toast when you're opening the door because they had already filmed the scene where she's eating toast? They're like, shit, we didn't show that toast being made. Have him Richard? say that in one of the scenes that takes place before that. There's Have no him. way, be out there all night. Josh, there's no way that the person who was in Richard? charge of this film paid that close attention <laughs> to continuity. So, no, I don't Richard. think so. Then why the fuck was that in the script? Be sure to make some toast while you're opening the door. <laughs> the guy who the guy who greenlit the film's like, I fucking love toast. Make sure you get a bag of Wonder Bread and some fucking toast being made in it. And or unless I, you know, I'm not paying for this film. When I'm, does he keep going to the same spot every time he kills somebody to wait for someone to notice him? She, she, That's what I'm, I do when I'm running from a, a crazed killer. I run in my house. And... Get the hell out of here! That's how she dies. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't even finish. <laughs> he loved toast, man. He had to get it in there. I thought it would be so funny if she ran in there and took a bite of the toast while she's running from Jacko. Wait, where's the electricity coming from? It's like down at her feet. It looks like she's being shot with a proton pack. Dead by stereo. At first it was coming from the toaster, but then it was just coming up from the floor. Hey, it, this this is actually Jacko versus uh, Toaster, and Jacko's in the woods watching the Toaster kill her, and he's like, "She's mine! She's mine! <laughs> She's mine! <laughs> mine!" Doing a <laughs> the toaster. Oh, I stuff. told the Toaster to have some fun, but now the Toaster won't stop killing. <laughs> Julie, come on. Sean wants to go trick-or-treating, and I've got places to go. That tickled me. <laughs> That's good shit. Julie! I searched the bowels of hell Julie? for someone to make him remember me. <laughs> and it's and, <laughs> and then when I couldn't find anyone, I went through my wedding gift uh, pile. <laughs> and I found it. I found it. I found there this was toaster. three of them. <laughs> This toaster will help help him make him remember. You want that toast buttered or dry, bitch? <laughs> the toaster is particularly deadly if you don't clean out the bottom once every month. <laughs> <laughs> the leave-ins, toaster leave-ins. Yeah, there's a there's a fire hazard to, associated with it. Oh, it's Jason. Oh, it's Sean. Okay, let's go trick-or-treat. Sean, you just went all out for your fucking uh, costume this year, bud. You're literally wearing your school clothes and the cheapest Jason mask you could possibly find at Kmart. She's a little peeved because she thought she's going to have time to rub her boobs. And... Uh-oh, hide your hamburgers. Decorations after all. That's not scary. Maybe they just want kids to come up to the door so they can yell at them. Come on, honey girl. So prisoners away. wear caps they... now? Like, what is, the, what is with that hat he's wearing? He got ran. They got ran off from that house like five minutes ago. Why were they coming back for? 
Why is that pumpkin right next to his junk? <laughs> <laughs> did, did they catch him banging it? He's trying to like act cool about it. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's like talking to his friends before the Halloween you know, night. He's like, what, what does it feel like? Feels like warm, warm pumpkin pie. <laughs> So tight. Turn that we damn pumpkin so into a cobbler. We'll just tell your mom we ate it. <laughs> yeah. Really? I'm afraid I'm gonna be Jim's bunch. dad. That's how. I mean, that's how I'm already there. Like, what's up? Maybe stuff. I can. I'm having a hard time believing that this girl uh, took her jacket off. I mean, the way, it's like 27 degrees right now. I bet on Halloween night like in this rough, town. Baby. It's like Henry Winkler and Nicolas Cage had a kid. Just remember. He fucking looks like, like a cheap ass version of Andrew Dice Clay. Hickory dickory duck! Andrew Dice Plato. Oh, oh. Jack, jackpot. We have to put our faces in there more. Silence. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Where? Well, any slower? Hey, side. Okay. You notice our ripping gets really quiet in this thing? Oh, Jacko has finally got something to Jacko about. Jacko's like exquisite nipple placement, baby. Hey, what are you doing? What's the matter, baby? There's a What's giant the pumpkin headed killer there. standing right over there. You don't, don't see it, man? Not right now. He's coming What's over here. <laughs> he looked genuinely pissed when she slapped him. You're going to get <laughs> that was the best right piece of back. acting in the film. That shadow looked like he had a unibrow. I told you, Jacko, I can't beat your bike. You don't have to beat me, Andrew Dice Clay. You just have to try to keep up. Lost in the night. Jacko in the shadows. Why? What? He was there next to the motorcycle people, and now he's... He can teleport. Fuck. Welcome to the oh, can this guy please get killed? He's committed more to his Dracula character than his actual That's character tough. in his film. <laughs> Those kids have gotten around town, man. They are fast ah, trick-or-treaters. The They're like, we have enough money for five extras for trick-or-treaters for the entire right? town. Esmeralda, more children. If you, if you have extra time, take a look at my Royal Russian Merit of Metal. Metal of Merit. Don't talk to the old man by the campfire, though. Trust me. You'll never know if you're asleep or awake for the rest of your life. More children. Wait a minute. Admission is $1. They're charging people to get into this shithole? To a trick-or-treat spook house, yep. Now, if it was like a whole haunted trail or a haunted house, I'd get it. But this is the kind of shit you set up for fun. You know, put candy at the back of it. And... Yeah, you're not charging children. I mean, well, you know, who's paying for, you know, that outfit he's wearing? And Oh, my God, it's, it's you. Oh, I thought that was you. I hate when people make light of my ancestors. Jacko just seems really it's indecisive. It's inside out. Point. Yeah, he's got no real method to his madness. He's he uh, he's not fully into his killing this season. I don't think. Hey, look, Hart is going to be playing there. Jacko needs his eyes. He was trying to grab for it, and he couldn't see where it was. Perhaps it was something else. Perhaps it was something Maybe else, Alex. Maybe, right. Maybe it was. Maybe they finally realized that they were actually cast for this shitter. That woman looks like the, uh, she's got the eyes of, uh, Hank's wife on Breaking Bad. <laughs> Skyler. Oh, no. No, no. no, no. The one who, the Hank's late, the, wife. Yes, the lady who loves purple. <laughs> yeah, it, it's her eyes. She's got those big old. It's scary in here, Mommy. I can't see a thing. That's the whole idea. He should take that uh, streamer and hang himself with it. I think we're about to get our, our, our wish here. One kill. <laughs> See, Hart's going to be playing there. David, what are you doing in there? I am. I'm feeling my guts. <laughs> Your guts, is that what they call it now? That lady looks so... Uh, perturbed, the one who's supposed to be a witch. I just scared him. 
She would rather be literally anywhere else in the entire universe than on this set. Well, people are always throwing rocks in her car and missing by like five inches. I know. It's like, man, the anxiety that causes because, you know, it could possibly one day chip her paint. I swear I heard a giant scarecrow pumpkin head guy in here. Why why is he looking around his garage like he doesn't know what's in his own garage? <laughs> All that Xanax, man. What's behind here? Oh wait, I set this up earlier in the day. I should I own this house. I should know exactly what's behind here. Uh oh. Sean got stepped on. Something's anything but the picture of Sean. Anything! What a neighborhood full of kids couldn't do in one night. You managed in two minutes. Oh, ho, 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 ho. he sure oh, did. You got him. Show. Burn, bitch. You burnt him. Yeah, he's not getting any booty tonight, I'm telling you. Oh, the other woman stayed behind. Maybe she likes a little bit of the count. One orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love sleeping with Jacko, but he just leaves fucking pumpkin seeds and shit all over my sheets every time. Okay, <laughs> cue Jacko, kill... cue Jacko. Are you going to kill somebody this time? I know, what the fuck is he doing? Like, make a decision, bud. Maybe he keeps waking up, too. Jacko's conflicted. It's been a long time since he's been in this situation where he could kill again. This electrician actually lived through Halloween 4, and he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm in a new town. Whew, I'm going to start over. There's no psychotic killers here, here to kill me like that Michael Myers tried to do. This I'm fucking electrician. This fucking electrician is taking his time. You can tell he's union. He is like, <laughs> this fucker's making like, yeah, $60 an hour right now. He's just like leaned over his truck doing nothing. Let me grab my cones as slow as I can here. The logo of it, it's like Elf Hat Electronic. Electric. He looks like a fucking spelunker. <laughs> he looks like he's going to go into a cave. Okay, I am sick and tired of the teasing Jacko the killing people. Or not. Jacko is walking around the town, teasing us that he's going to kill people, and then going away. <laughs> this is, um, I'm going to be 100% honest, this may be the worst film we've watched, that he's made us watch so far. This movie is awful. He ruined my Halloween 4 joke about the guys surviving. I really thought he was going to die. God damn you. Who the fuck is this? Oh, it's, it's the Kimberly girl. No, it's actually Tiffany from uh, 90s Pop Sensation. I think I'm alone now, alone now. Jacko doesn't seem to be anywhere around. Come on, baby. It ain't Halloween if you can't scare a few kids once in a while. Murder a few kids. Okay, are you going to kill somebody this He's time? Yeah, Jacko, can you do no. something for once in your life? He's like, I He's haven't done it in so him. long. I'm just afraid I'm not doing Sick. it right. <laughs> He's got performance anxiety. He's got his insecurities. Yeah. It was 1912 the last time. <laughs> I'm afraid someone might have an oversized crucifix. Her pants are ripped open just because Jacko, like, was trying to kill her but couldn't, like, uh, fully do it. Uh, yeah. Slow down, Mrs. Stevens. You're saying uh, Sarah and Robbie saw... He's got premature emasceration. ...monster all over the neighborhood? What did they do all over the neighborhood? Wait a no, minute. No, I'm sure Is this the same guy who was Dracula earlier? No. Sean went trick-or-treating. Yes. Okay. Because he's out of costume Check it out. very quickly. Thanks. I think it is. This woman so just moved to town. Is like she's like living in this monster. married couple's house now. Yeah, it's a it's a power thruple. I better go check uh, on Sean. They're just working Tell their way up into <laughs> into the first sexual act of the evening. All she did was show up and like say your son is special and brave, and it's like, oh, come move in with me and my wife and Sean. That that lady has yeah. been holding on to that drink like it's a fucking memory from high school. <laughs> she's been holding on to it the whole film. Give it a rest, Jim. Oh, really? Give it a nap, Jim. Jim, I'm warning you. I'm telling you, girl, there's a giant jack-o'-lantern-headed jack guy out here somewhere. I've seen him all over town. Why aren't, the woods, sneaky. why aren't the woods that well lit when I'm actually in the woods? <laughs> I don't know. When I'm trying to stalk someone, I can't see shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's his problem. He can't see him to kill anybody. He's, he, after a hundred years, his eyesight is finally gone. <laughs> That's why he takes your eyes. Okay, are you going to kill him this time? Butthead. Hey! If you're scaring my girlfriend, I'll get the hell out of here. Why do people always talk to monsters okay. like this? I'll go away. I didn't mean to scare the girl. 
My bad, bro. My bad. Oh, I'm gonna kill you now. Why doesn't Jacko go uh, find himself a pig to fuck? To fuck. <laughs> Invite only, Jacko, and you were invited. <laughs> Give me some head, sweetie. He's like, oh, I did it. I killed the guy. I did yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I did it. He's having a personal victory here, Josh. I need to steal his eyes, put the head oh down. You know, I saw a study, this is a true thing, I saw a thing on YouTube where the human head, if it's decapitated, actually is still functioning for like 10 to 15 seconds after it's off the body. No, I asked somebody one time before their, before their brain died, and they're like, yes, I can see and feel everything, you killed me. <laughs> Blink five times if you're still functioning, please. Like, ah, yep, I made the right choice to move out of Haddonfield after Michael damn near killed me. Here's the one el one electrician in town making sixty seven dollars an hour. We gotta, we gotta get out of here. Oh, he's like, oh shit, Michael followed me. It's Triangle it's Electric. No, oh, see, it's a little elf hat, little elf hat electric company. The thing holding the the light on his helmet is a uh, a it's rainbow strap, it's like it's a like that helmet belongs to like a six year old. Down. There's nothing out the there. Legend of Zelda Electric. Dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> He's that's... like, oh, god damn it. Oh, man. I survived electrocution in Haddonfield, and now this. He didn't even you're, not even a, you're not even an A-list flasher. How ironic that uh, he was milking the clock. He would have been done with his job hours ago if he hadn't been making so goddamn much per hour as an electrician in the union. Ja oh, Jacko got a hold of... What the fuck? What's the matter, Rasko? Oh, you're not an animal diddler, too, are you? Oh, of course, let's bring John Wayne Gacy back. I mean, he was actually, you know, in the opening scene, and we haven't seen him for over an hour. That dog is scared shitless of him. And who's holding the dog? And why is oh. this guy always in the woods? Well, I wasn't diddling this dog, I swear. He really scared me to death. Couldn't find you out front. Some I thought you might have seen Sean. Monsters and dead bodies out here. I'm trying to find Sean. Have you See? Seen Oh, no, I haven't seen Sean. No. He's all, the dad's like, if I don't know where Sean, where Sean is, the only other person that could possibly know where my son is is the town pedophile. Right. Halloween, David. I figured Have you seen that Silent Life skit about that guy trick-or-treating, saying he's dressed as a uh, predator and he's having people sign? Mm-mm. i -mm. have to send it to you. Will Forte is in it. He's I love Will Forte. Right. Mick Gruber. What? Double decker. Oh, nothing, Sean. Um, what'd you give at the last house? Why the hell? Upper, any... upper decker. Well, upper decker. That's what did. Why the hell is Linnea Quigley even in this oh, movie? I feel like anybody in the world could have done this part. Maybe that's why she didn't write me back when I asked if she wanted to do an intro. Yeah, she's like, fuck that. The Conted Garage. This picture looks like a jack o' lantern scarecrow stepped on it. We <laughs> might have a problem. We should try to get the kid who played Sean on the podcast, right. and uh, we'd have to coach him up not to stare directly into his his camera, Ooh, though. And, tell, and have him, like, wake up three times during the interview. <laughs> He's all, huh, huh, oh my god, Jacko. There's no sign of Sean. Someone's been in his room, look. Where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. I was talking to the town looking predator. looking for Sean. He's in the I'm dog tell you. <laughs> I'm also looking for Sean, and I told you to stop breaking my balls all the time, lady. It's getting late, and I don't see any other kids. And I got to get these, and these, and these boobs ain't gonna rub themselves. Back. It's a long walk. I know a shortcut to the park. What? I seriously cannot hear this kid. He mumbles. I know it's the the park. I know he's. He's he's lousy. I'm gonna come out and say it. This kid is awful. <laughs> what was that? It sounded like a big swoop. Yeah, run! Yeah, go through the bars. There what you the go. hell is going on here? That this is like when the lady tried to go through the garage door on Scream. Get away from him! Get out of here! Hello. Oh. See, he's so indecisive. Am I not good enough for you to murder? You know he runs. That's how he gets to everywhere so much. He's just running the whole time. 
this isn't good because this kid, his delusions are proved correct. He's never gonna, he's never gonna have a breakthrough in therapy because now he believes he's right. Yeah, you totally look like you're running for your life, kid. You're like skipping. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. <laughs> skip to my loo, I'm murdered. Of all the weapons a killer could have, I think I would like him to have a sickle. Because if he misses, I'm fucking getting him. <laughs> Jack goes like, oh, my only weakness, a house. <laughs> the toaster is just patiently waiting for Jacko to show up. This is the scene. This is the scene. The toaster wakes up, and Jacko is in the cabin with him. <laughs> I think this is the final showdown, boo dude. I just called you Boo. I don't know why I called you Boo. Dude. <laughs> thank, <laughs> is... thank you. <laughs> thank you, showdown, sweetie. Boo. Okay, Boo. <laughs> You're my Boo. <laughs> Who started that? I want to know where Boo came from. Is it like Bo? Oh, it was my Boo-Boo. My Boo thing. I can see you, Sean. I'm going to act like I don't see you, though. <laughs> Dude, are you serious? The Kellys. You know what's going on here. Now, what the hell is happening? Walter Mackin cursed your family to and being mom bad and films. <laughs> Walter Mackin is the yeah, name of their Arthur. agent. Arthur Kelly thought he killed the monster, <laughs> but he was wrong. And then the Ernest monster brought it back to life. The monster is actually the, the name of the story. script. They were. They don't even call it by its real name. I can't believe this movie was actually called Jack O' Lantern. You know, that's that's just such a horrible slash thing. Yeah, we said it earlier. That's on it. That's on his birth certificate. Jack O. Jack O. Lantern. Why do you think I'm here? Ophelius. I'm hunting. Jack. Jack. Jack Ophelius. Lantern. Lantern. Male descendant after Arthur Kelly can decide. Okay, you got ten minutes left. There's. It's too late to throw in history on why Jacko does what he does. I'm sorry. You know what? There's still time, and I'm hoping for a narrator at some point as well. <laughs> it has to kill Sean before Sean kills it. Wait, it's here too, the clown? Hey, thanks a lot, crazy lady who's trying to be in a thruple with us. Information you could have brought to us earlier in the night when before our son was greedy. Yeah, before he fucking left. So the Power Ranger stunt doubles bring Jacko back to life. He has to kill Sean because Sean's the fifth descendant of the last person that Jacko was. Maybe I ought to check the neighborhood again. There's a few houses I might have missed. David, call the police. David, the David's police son is out there you. being chased by the a killer jack-o'-lantern, and he's going to go check a few more houses Shut before he calls it a night. <laughs> and the only person that can help him is a dollar store version of Shelley Duvall. Sean. No shit! I know what my son sounds like. Good I'm God, in. you... Oh. God, man, this Look movie, I'm telling you. Me. Jacko, my only Look weakness. <laughs> Sidewalk. The damn door's stuck again. Oh, oh remember they set that up earlier in the movie. Oh, see? It was a foreshadow. Damn doors made of balsa wood! He dead. Did they just kill Sean? One can only hope. They I hope just killed a kid. Oh I hope Jacko so... is the full There's power no now. He kills everybody. <laughs> His hand was there, and then like a bunch of like red water splashed on the thing. So how are they going to explain it? Not oh, he was carrying a juice. Are you okay. fucking kidding me? She's like, damn it! I was hoping he killed the little fucker. It's like, yeah. Cause she's in oh, cahoots God. with Jacko, I think, Josh. Time. I think she's in working she with him. Damn about anybody, <laughs> certainly not Sean. She's no, her name's Rubbo. I'll help you find Sean. But you're going to think about you. that one for a second. Instead of Jacko, it's Rubbo. <laughs> Tuggo. <laughs> no, she would be Rubbo. He would be Jacko. Her mom's maiden name was Stroko. Stroko. Yeah. No, Stroko. <laughs> Stroko Ono. I wish somebody would show up and break up the band in this That's movie so we could stop watching it. <laughs> yeah, that that's the most realistic decapitated head I've seen since the mannequin head in Jason Takes Manhattan that you can obviously see the foam on the neck part. Or the head in uh, The New Dad. Blood, Friday the 13th, Part 7, when he's, his head is actually in a potted plant. No, no, let yeah. me finish. 
take you in. This man's never going to be the head of a Shallow major corporation. <laughs> I know where they're going. We've got to do a head count first. <laughs> Jacko's like, keep on walking, kid. Yeah, keep on your... walking. So does Jacko have to bring Sean to a certain part of the field or something? Yeah, he's, he's saying, keep on walking. You're going to be swimming with the fishies. See, Sean? Keep on hey. walking. Go on now. Go on now. Go on. Josh, Josh you see the hell? license plate on that car? Fucking Florida. Of course Jacko could only happen in, in the Sunshine State. Florida. What are you doing? Well, we have to have a giant, oversized crucifix. Florida Whenever, man. Everybody carries hammers like that in their trunk, by the way. Florida man is actually Jacko. <laughs> I'm not playing charades with you, asshole. One word. <laughs> two syllables. <laughs> <laughs> two words. Two words. <laughs> uh, four syllables. Shitty movie. Sounds like. Sean's really kind of phoning it in here. He's not. He's not really doing his uh, case any justice here. At least the woman knows to carry around an old hammer, a bunch of nails, and two giant please sticks. No. Oh, that's real. Yeah, please, Alex. Please, no. <laughs> he's fighting. He's taking the same fighting stance that he took earlier in the film with the bully. He's just lying on his back like a turtle. No. <laughs> no! Oh, God. No! That one, that one ripped itself. I can't believe the director actually allowed that to stay in. I made a movie when I was a teenager as a horror movie. One of my actors in it was like, Oh no, that's Matthew Ryan. Where, where is he at? I can't, I cannot believe that they didn't do more than one take on that. Oh! And if hey, they did, and I if know they did, why. that's the best one. I know why, because somebody why? said, director, 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 should we redo that? And the director's like, no! <laughs> He's all, no. It was perfect! <laughs> the director at this point is just trying to get credits under his belt. He's like, let's just power through this shitter. Or he just really talks like that, you know? <laughs> he thinks it's real life. No, we're good. He's all, no, this is good shit! You know me, don't you? Yes, we did bang that one time. <laughs> Oh my god. I am the last of the ones who brought you into hey, this Hey, there's world. a picture inside of that locket of her and I Jacko will. on a Ferris wheel. Back to hell. <laughs> From years ago. Is he Palpatine? Oh, where did he go? His dad is, he... is worthless. He's Darth Over Pumpkin. Here. What are pumpkins and stuff and cantaloupe, or pumpkins and uh, squash called? What, what, what's the name of their vegetable family zucchini oh my god that looks so realistic <laughs> damn he's got some serious upper body strength yeah he can throw them dummies around easy oh sean's only weakness loose dirt <laughs> he just gave up he's done he's like no what are you doing to me why are you burying me i'm alive no but what what are like Pumpkins and squash, what are they called? I don't know. I, I have no idea. Shit. Marsu hey, marsupials? <laughs> are those animals from Australia that are nocturnal? Just, just call it Darth Pumpkin. I can't remember what they're called. What the family of them is called. Yes, Sean, join the dark side with me and Jack on. You know the saddest part about Jacko is there was never a, the trilogy was never completed. The director never got to fulfill his vision. This was supposed to be a three-parter. Leave my mom and dad alone! I mean it, man. You mean old man? This kid, man. This kid is fucking horrendous. I wouldn't even cast him in a grade school play where he's playing a tree or a rock or something. <laughs> I wouldn't even cast him in that. That kid is behind the scenes only, Josh. Yes, yes, yes. He's a fucking boom mic or lighting or painting the, the, the <laughs> background on the back of the wall. It's the final showdown. Come get me, pumpkin man. Yeah, pumpkin man. The pumpkin man's like, well, I am a pumpkin man, so I can't really get too pissed. Now I know why they couldn't use a small cross. 
<laughs> it would have just been a flesh wound. Poor Jack from Return to Oz. Got I'm it! Just... Darth Gord! <laughs> Darth Gord. <laughs> if it's Palpatine, it's the Palpatine guy. Sorry. Hey, before, before Jack got stabbed in the chest, he's like, Are you my mom? <laughs> Jack is screaming in his head. No! <laughs> Belina, Belina just got killed inside of his head, too. No! Now the Gnome King is going to fucking win because Belina's <laughs> killed. Belina was just chilling inside of the, the pumpkin. I buried Sean, and they stab, and now they're going to stab me with the giant cross. Oh, my God! It's almost dawn. It we, is. Uh, <laughs> it's almost hey, dawn. Sean actually got buried uh, professionally in this film as well. <laughs> wow, dude. He's, it, it's, it's like 1130 at night, and the dad's like, it's almost dawn. You know, like, people were still trick-or-treating ten minutes ago. But it's almost dawn. This is Neil Bog. <laughs> they had been trick or treating. Yeah, they had been trick or treating until five a.m. and their bags were still not even full. <laughs> but there is something you can. What? Say a prayer for your daddy tonight. You hear me? I hear you, but I don't know where the voice is coming from. Yeah, I, I hear you. I'm hearing you. Okay, please wake up, Sean. Please wake up. You you cannot disappoint me and Alex. This movie has to end with him waking up. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> You're going to see a bunch of uh, Bigfoot walk out from behind the trees now, like at the end of Harry and the Hendersons. <laughs> oh, my God. I, that movie. I love that movie. <laughs> I wish we were watching Harry and the Hendersons right now. I, lo I love the credits. The, the Yeah, with all the drawings and the uh, scenes from the movie. The Pink Power Ranger survived, man. Thank go, God. go, Power Ranger. Hey, thank God, because she is a fox. <laughs> Even her stunt double is. You're safe. Wait, here comes the giant turkey-headed killer for Thanksgiving. Turco. Hey, she, she was out no, in the woods. That sounds bad, Turco. Sounds bad. She was out in the woods with ripped pants like that all night. She probably froze her ass off. Ooh, she's probably got chiggers, too. Like a lot of chigger bites. For sure. She's like, I, who, did y'all drug me and put me in this movie? I, it, what the fuck? No doubt, dude. Linnea Quigley deserves better. Hey, look. Those are the four boobs we saw in the movie. First Jim. Those four boobs were the only ones we saw. And yeah, God bless them all four. The kids call the pumpkin man. The pumpkin man? Why can't you just call him Jacko like this song? Why are they calling him pumpkin man? There is a song literally about Mr. Jacko that the town sings, you know? And they're, they don't know what to call him, pumpkin man. Well, they're confused because when this movie was released in 95... Uh, Jacko in the National Shut Enquirer it. predominantly was a pop, the king of pop. I don't know if you you remember him, or if you're uh, he was he was a, yeah he was in the Jackson Five. He was actually quite a musician and quite a dancer. Did you get to finish washing your boobs? Come here, Sean. We all here, survived, you. Sean. Come here, you little yeah. scamp. Not if you don't want to, honey. He said, "Can I go trick or treating next year?" And she goes, "Not if you want. Not if you don't want to, honey." <laughs> so Linnea Quigley's role was like an aunt who takes Sean trick or treating, but she had Let's no role hands. other than that. So, like yeah. it was pointless. She was, a, sugar fix. she was a babysitter. Like, yeah, it was like pointless to even have her in the movie. No, they needed her for the shower scene. The That's it. Ice cream on the side. <laughs> That's insane. That is blurry mm -hmm. as fuck. Anything but pumpkin. Oh, 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 anything but pumpkin. Oh, that God. was clever. What'd they do, decapitate him and put it on display? You sick fucking people. Uh-oh, Josh, it's lighting up. Jacko's not dead. Uh-oh, no, he's waking up. It was all a dream. Here comes the, the, the doorway for the trilogy I was talking about. Jacko, I know you just woke up, but you cannot stare into the camera like Sean. Sean. <laughs> I want a Jacko pre-equal. Sean. Oh, we get the sitcom credits! Yes. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, I gotta find the sitcom music for this. <laughs> Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please.
That was it? What about the, what about the Republican guy that they kept watching? He didn't get a... What the hell? Now the I see why he hates everybody. The lady who's in one scene got more credit than Dude. I did when I produced and co-host a Hold sports on. radio show. <laughs> Sean Kelly didn't even want his name put there. He, yeah, his name isn't on there. <laughs> you fuckers put my name on there, I'm suing you. <laughs> yeah. My parents made me do this shit. Jack O'Lantern was played by Patrick Duffy. I mean, Patrick Moron. Patrick Duffy, the dad on fucking <laughs> Step by Step and from Dallas. Yes. Okay. And he's part of that monster on South Park. He's got Patrick Duffy for a leg. Okay, man. This was... Uh, <laughs> Wow, this really happened. We just watched uh, Jacko. Jacko. Do you still have your sanity? No, and Jinx, you owe me a movie that's not shitty next time. We said oh, Jacko at the same time. All right, there's probably something I should tell you. I kind of made this. I made this little this this little cassette tape, and I sent it. Shit, he's calling. Um, what did, what did you do, Josh? It was Master Evil. I have to be quick. Before Ma catches me. I have a bone to pick with you, Alex. Wait, me? Why? I received a rather disturbing cassette tape of you saying some unsavory things about me and Mr. Flivel. And you saying you are trying to keep me happy and do whatever you're going to do to stay in my good graces, that you are fake. A tape? <laughs> who who in the hell sent you a tape? Jo- Josh? Josh? Oops, was it me? Let me, listen, let me explain, okay? <laughs> I, uh, this is, how, this is what happened. This is what, this is what happened. Um, yeah. Josh, Josh, really? Really, Josh? Silence! In response to your treachery, I will punish you accordingly by making the next movie you two watch be a return to a certain franchise you have begged me never to do. Mm -hmm. God, no. But, Master Evil, I just said those things, and because Josh, I didn't mean to. Josh! Too late! Next time you will watch Ghoulies 3, Ghoulies Go to College. <laughs> okay, that, that sucks, but at the same time, I feel pretty damn good for some reason. Way to sell me out, Josh. You know, you may have just ruined a good friendship. You know that, bud? Oh, wow, man. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. I didn't know you felt that way about me, dude. Now, God damn. No, I feel bad. But I'm sorry. I don't feel that way about you. I'm talking about Master Evil. How's he ever going to trust me again now? I feel I feel really shitty. I betrayed his trust, man. Are you serious right now? What the fuck? Really, Alex? You're sorry? Yes, I'm sorry, man. I'm her- I'm sorry that you heard those things, and I feel ter- terrible for saying them. Are we? Are we? Are we cool? Are, is the sleepover still on? I mean. When you're not grounded anymore, that is. Because I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, I guess so. Thank you for apologizing, Alex. All right, we're good, right? No, no Ghoulies 3? You'll pick a different movie for us? You'll, come on. No! You will still have to watch Ghoulies 3 so you know not to cross me. Because I am, of course, Master Evil! Next time you do it, then I will have no choice but to make you watch Goody's Four. And you really, really, really don't want that. Okay, I'm conflicted. You guys seem to have made up, but he has to watch Goody's Three? But wait, God, I have to watch it too. God damn it, I can't win. Well, I just, I can't win. And if I try to get you in trouble again, Alex, we have to watch Ghoulies 4, and dear God, dear God, that is a fate worse than death. Seriously, man, I'll do anything. 
Not Ghoulies 3. Come on, man. Not Ghoulies 3. Josh, do you see what you you see what you fucking did, man? Yeah, I'm actually sorry. My bad, bro. This one's on me. It's on me. I'm sorry. You better not still be on that surveillance equipment. Oh. Um, see you next time, prisoners. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew you were still torturing them. Ma! God damn it, that backfired. Fuck! You shouldn't have... St that's what happens when you stir the pot. You just... You got all in the heat of the moment, and you tried to screw me over, and ipso facto, you screwed yourself over. So you did me no good, you did yourself no good, you started shit with Master Evil. I want to go to the fam to the family reunion. You got all pissed off at the beginning of the show because of that, and you're projecting your bullshit on me, and I don't like it. At least he's still grounded. Mm -hmm. No sleepover for you tonight, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have race... that. Well, don't be too proud of yourself because Mother Evil bought us race car beds with race car bed phones. So we're able to talk to each what other. What the hell does that have us... to do with anything? Race car... What the... Because and... Mother Evil... We have race car beds and race car bed phones that we call each other on. You gotta yeah. stay in contact with your buds. You guys are like 40. What I... the fuck? I... I'm 37. Don't put that shit on me. You've been uh, stirring the pot. You've been stirring the pot all night. First, first you try to get me in trouble with Master Evil. Now you're putting three years on me. You know you're a real son of a bitch tonight. You know that. You know, and you really had me in the feels, man. When you said I might have ruined a friendship, I really thought you were talking about us. I thought you actually cared. And now I know you don't care at all, do you? Listen, do you? Man, I listen. You dirty I, son of a bitch. We're cell. We're cellmates. I can't control that we were put together in this hell of a hell hole of a situation. You don't become hell best hole. friends with the person you're in prison with, do you? No, so, you make up your bitch, and that's what I'm. <laughs> every night, that's what gets me to sleep, knowing that one day, one day, one. I. You are pissed off that I'm basically Andrew Dufresne in this situation. I've got the war. Why the hell is Mother Evil getting more involved? What the fuck, dude? Is the whole family psychotic? Well, of course they are. They're evil. Um, and this movie, he is really, really... At least you have to watch these fucking movies. I, that's the one solace I get from this. You have to sit through it, too. And I know in your head, you were screaming, No! The whole time. <laughs> through that movie. That was quite possibly, of the ten films we've been forced to watch, that was the worst one we've seen. And I, I yeah. go on record... That was the worst one we've watched. At least I was comfortable and fuzzy. While I you it. did look quite warm, but I, w I was, to much to my chagrin, you chose to wear the bunny suit yourself, which is... It's Halloween. I don't have any other... It was either this or take his rodeo clown costume, and then he'd be naked. So, And I, and that, I have to see him naked every Thursday as it is. So I thought, you know, once a week is enough. Um, every Thursday. But yeah. Every Thursday, seven o'clock. You have it marked down on your calendar. <laughs> it's part of my torture. You don't have to. You don't have like scheduled torture from. I did pull one over on Master Evil. I told him that I really used to hate high school pizza. Yeah. And he sent me school pizza. Like I have like a shit ton of it. So. You know. I, high school pizza is not that bad, actually. No, it's pretty good. I got I got like a whole box of it. It's gonna last me a while. I have to eat it frozen, but you know you got to oh, pick okay. your battles. You got to pick yeah. your battles. All right. Well, um, he is he is master evil. Of, of he's not master nice. You know, he's master evil. So, and I get to end this show making you miserable, and I love it. Next episode is Ghoulies Three. Alex, how do you like them, Ghoulies? Can't wait. It's gonna be. Oh, no, you're not happy. Time. You're not happy. Quit acting. You're you're inside. You're in torment. You know if, you want to scream, no! If any of the people from the first Ghoulies reprise their roles, I'm going to try to escape. Well, the guy is going to college, right? So this seems like a perfect movie for him. He's going to college. The, the movie is just him as the janitor at the campus. He's just clocking in, just cleaning the, the, the rooms and stuff, the lecture halls. And halfway through cleaning the lecture hall, the narrator pops in. You're not using enough lies, so... <laughs> And so, and so it began, the scrubbing of the floors in between home hour. 
in all seriousness, folks, I cannot believe it. Ten episodes of Slash Tracks. Thank you all for watching. This has been a blast. Yeah, uh, thank you, guys. Alex, Alex, have a shitty Halloween. Just have a <laughs> shitty Halloween. Um, right yeah. back at you, buddy. And now a message from the cast of Slash Tracks. All right, guys. Ten episodes of Slash Tracks tonight. Halloween, Jacko, we all live through it. And from Josh LaRue, Alex Vanover, Mother Evil, who's always off screen even in real life, Master Evil, we all wanted to say Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween! See ya with uh, Ghoulies 3 real soon. Last track! What's going on? I'm busting in the damn head. When Master Evil comes to play, and Mother says that it's okay.